Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh my god. Normally, I'm over on Twitch kicking it with my community, The Snack Shack, but now I've partnered up with the Epic Game Store, so I'll be hanging out on YouTube too. This video marks the start of Kiwi's Picks, my recommendation series sponsored by the Epic Game Store. Today, we'll be diving into single player games that I had a good old time playing, and I hope you enjoy it. I'm Kiwi on the Sticks, and this is Kiwi's Picks Single Player Edition. First up is literally one of my favorite games from last year. I will never forget the first time I opened up this game and I heard the menu music. Loving you is war and I'm an honor women. This is a really solid single player option, great ratings all around, and I absolutely loved being immersed in this story. I would play several more of these, 20 more of these. Keep them coming till I pass out. Boyfriend Dungeon is a Kit Fox Games dating sim set in the town of Verona Beach where you've come to visit your cousin for the summer. But you aren't just like cruising around town for the whole game, you're visiting Verona Beach's most popular destinations and you're making friends, and maybe even more than friends. But most importantly, you get to go on a ton of dates. You decide who interests you from a pretty nifty lineup of characters who range in appearance and gender and background. And they're also your weapons that you level up in the dungeon. Do we understand what's going on so far? We're still gonna walk around the town. We're still gonna have to go to the dungeon so we can level up. But when we go to the dungeon, we fight. That's how we get people to ask us on dates. And we have those little like cute encounters in the mall. That's where the combat aspect comes into play. The Dunge, where we actually have to fight our insecurities and other challenges we faced with being open to love. As you work your way through, you experience some emotional growth and possibly secure a match by the end of the game. I wrote you a song. It's probably terrible, so it's okay if you don't like it. <gasps> As a queer woman myself, I loved how this game made me feel seen. In fact, at this year's Spawnies Award show, Boyfriend Dungeon took home the Brocago Heritage Diversity Award for going above and beyond to highlight and celebrate the ways that we're different. It took me about 10 hours to beat this game because I streamed it and I let the chat choose the responses, but I did think that the game could have been a bit longer. Still, I'm very grateful to have a game like this and I'm looking forward to the free DLC dropping this summer. So we'll be enjoying some new friends and hopefully some new locations and maybe some new enemies. In the meantime, get your hands on Boyfriend Dungeon, available now in the Epic Games Store. Next up is one of the coziest games I've had the pleasure of playing recently, Freshly Frosted. Get those donuts decorated and delivered to their appropriate destinations using conveyor belts on the playfield. You place the belts in routes to ensure that each topping is added in its proper order. Once you complete your donut box of a dozen puzzles, you move on to a different box with a new theme and a new kind of donut and all kinds of toppings along the way. At a point, you end up making several kinds of donuts at once. With over a hundred stages, you'll surely be challenged along the way. If it's too challenging though, the game provides you with hints as well as the ability to just skip a level if you need to. The atmosphere of Freshly Frosted feels like a warm hug and a gentle pat on the back. I could literally feel happiness seeping in when the songs change from calm thinking music to energetic success music. The narration by Ali O. Taylor is so good. Their voice serves as a guiding light, providing info on controls and tutorials, but also teaching us many things about donuts and life in general, encouraging introspective thought along the way. Even the menu sounds are soft chimes and ethereal synths that put you into a big, dreamy, cozy donut box in the sky. It's lit. Get into the puzzling perfection of Freshly Frosted, available now on the Epic Games Store. Next up, 
Card Shark, a beautifully designed adventure game from developer Nereal. It's set in 18th century France and we're basically learning card tricks and using the art of deceit to game our opponents. So we're scammers. Almost immediately we kind of get a peek at the main character's backstory and it doesn't take long to start to empathize with him and have that curiosity about his past. Then we meet the... the... what? The, who takes us under his wing. And we embark on this journey of learning card-based magic tricks and figuring out how to multitask under time pressures. You don't have to actually know how to play cards, but you better be paying attention. Where's the rest? Remember lad, act natural and pour my wine properly. Oh, I didn't see it. Ah! I didn't see it, I didn't see it. I don't remember. <laughs> So obviously this was a walk in the park for me, but it is actually a bit difficult to kind of get these card tricks together in such a high stakes, high anxiety situation, but it's a lot of fun to see what you can pull off and not so much fun if you don't end up pulling it off. It's been a really long time since I played something that was so charismatic and Card Shark is kind of in a league of its own with this one. One of my favorite aspects of this game is the original score and it is magical. Every song is a bop. Combine that with a compelling story and this really warm and stylish environment, and you've got a charming game that you can get lost in for hours. Card Shark feels like it was made with a lot of passion and enthusiasm, which is something I really love to see. It's also really rewarding to be naughty, and I like that. Learn some new tricks, perfect some old ones, and outsmart your foes in Card Shark. Available now on the Epic Games Store. This chaotic game, this game is so criminally underrated, it's not even funny. It's yet another indie title with an enriching story and a great soundtrack to match. Road 96 is an adventure game about escaping authoritarian rule in the summer of 1996. It's a procedural road trip, which means you get to decide where you want to affect the story and encourage different outcomes. As a 90s baby myself, I can really appreciate how this game feels both nostalgic and futuristic at the same time. Like they really nailed the Y2K feel but made it feel really fresh and new. You get to see the world from so many vantage points that you're able to piece small details together and really understand the nuance and complex relationship the citizens have to this world. I picked this game because my job was on the floor. I felt like I was there in Petria fighting for my wig the entire game. I could actually feel the gravity of my decisions and like in terms of overall investment in the story and the characters, this game nails it. You do spend the game playing in first person and I have motion sickness pretty bad, <laughs> but Road 96 actually wasn't too hard on me. That being said, prepare yourself for moments of chaos and destruction, but also some tender moments bonding under the night sky, all to the sounds of some 90s inspired bops because they did not play about this soundtrack. Experience the greatness and embark on your own personal journey to freedom in Road 96, available now on the Epic Games Store. And lastly, a beautiful adventure gem from designer Andrew Schuldice, where you explore a land filled with lost legends and ancient powers as a small fox on a huge adventure. It's Tunic, an isometric action game inspired by older Zelda works. This game is a true test of intuition and observation because not much is divulged about the world or story origins in the beginning. Luckily, the path to discovery is really rewarding. Every corner feels like an opportunity to do or see or fight something new. You find yourself stuck behind an obstacle and then after some exploring, you find the answer and you get to revisit those elements you were once locked out of. It's very gratifying to put the pieces of the world together and make sense of everything. It was just a hot mess of a good time. I brought the mess, Tunic brought the hot. Okay, we met in the middle. I also loved the fact that there was a language barrier in this game. This was an element that confused me initially, but that added to Tunic's immersive world experience. It's just as much fun to actually decipher the messages as it is to defeat an impossible enemy or stumble upon a hidden treasure chest. And by now, you probably know how much of a sucker I am for good music, and Tunic delivers on that. 
While the world itself has a mysterious tone to it, the music takes you on an emotional journey with dreamy tunes and floating lo-fi remixes and hectic drums when the mood gets intense. Overall, a beautiful game that delivers an epic journey. Solve the Mysteries of Tunic, available now on the Epic Games Store. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching my video. Shout out to the Epic Game Store for sponsoring this video. I love you. Mwah. See you next time. Bye.